welcome back to my home. How are you all doing today? My name is Lynn Wilson. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a regular, I am glad you're still here, hanging in there with me and part of my YouTube community. So I have a Lidl haul for you. I hear some people now call it Lidl's. I was told it was Lidl's. So whether you go to Lidl's or Lidl's, I have a, a haul for you today. I think it's like Aldi and Aldi. So depending on, you know, how you want to pronounce it. But I went today, I needed some rolls and a couple of other things. And I thought, well, let me just see what they have. I haven't been there. Oh, it's probably been about two months. And I thought, let me see what they have. Let's get some goodies. I needed some breads and some odds and ends like for lunch. And uh, so I did pick up a few things. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you what I got. And then uh, at the end, I'll tell you the prices. And I have to admit, I was a little enticed by uh, Janelle on parsnips and parsimony when she talked about getting discounted meats. And she had a video a week, uh, maybe a week or so ago. On, and actually, maybe it's just a few days ago. But um, I'm getting discounted meats and I don't really need anything. I have to admit my freezer, I have a chest freezer, it's full. And the freezer above my refrigerator is full. We're not in need of meats. We have a lot of pork and a lot of chicken. I was looking maybe to get some beef, so I wasn't sure. I didn't really need anything again, but I thought I would at least look. So yes, I got discounted meats. So before we get started, I did want to let you know, happy spring, by the way. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope spring weather is bringing you some ah, fresh new outlook on life and maybe some changes in life for the positive and for the better. Um, I know we've been through a rough, you know, 18 months, it's been kind of yucky and um, we're slowly seeing things, I wouldn't say normal, but some normalcy, some better things headed our way here in New Jersey. Not the best yet, but I'll take what we can get. And uh, we are still recovering with my husband. We are going through tests this week and next week to see where he's at. So I'll keep you posted on that. That's one of the reasons I've been a little behind schedule here because We've had a lot in life right now, but I have some great stuff I want to share with you. I got a Cricut Joy. I saved my pennies. I haven't used it yet. It came two nights ago. So I want to show you guys that. I know some of you want to see my label maker that I use in my pantry. I need to get you an update on my pantry, where I use the label maker, and just some changes that I'm making in my pantry, like getting rid of stuff. Yeah, getting rid of stuff. I need to show you that. What else did I want to show them? I got a yogurt maker. I have to show you that. I've got a couple recipes, a really good coffee cake recipe I want to share with you. A new recipe I want to try, which is peanut butter Nutella muffins. Oh yeah, sound good? Mm, sounds good to me. And I can't remember. Oh, quilling. Yes, quilling. I taught my class last week. I haven't forgotten about you guys and showing you how to do quilling. So I need to do quilling and there's just a few other things. So I, I got to get back on a stick here and bring you along and share some good stuff with you. So in the meantime, um, let me just jump in here. No rhyme or reason. So I got some pretzel rolls. It's a four count. So this will be for lunch tomorrow. I love pretzel rolls. They're nice and soft. They're perfect. You can put these in the air fryer and crisp them up and then they stay nice and soft on the inside. And then I got uh, brioche. Is that how you pronounce it, honey? I like this. They have chocolate chip. I usually get the vanilla flavored. I love this with a cup of coffee in the morning. Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah. My husband right. says, oh yeah. oh, yeah. I like this. I really do. It's, it's not too rich and sweet and yet it has a nice, it, there's a sweetness to it, but it's not sugary, if that makes sense. But cup of coffee and a couple sausages on the side. Oh yeah. Okay. Picked up some hamburger rolls. This is the Lidl's. So I got two of these. They're cheap. And again, I'll show you the, well, I'll tell you the prices at the end. And then another thing that I picked up. Oh, can you smell? This is, if nothing else you buy at Lidl's, if you have one, and if you haven't been there, you got to go. This is rosemary olive oil bread. And when you can get it like warm and they get it, they have a bakery right there and you get it in the bag and it's sweating because of the heat, it is the best. But it smells delicious and it is oh so delicious. So I'm going to probably use half of this 
And then the other half, I'm either going to make breadcrumbs out of it or croutons because we won't eat all this before it, it goes stale. So that's my plan. But for breakfast tomorrow, they had guacamole. They had wa uh, wild. Oh, yeah, wild guacamole. Here we go. Mild guacamole or they had hot. I don't know what the hot would be like. I wouldn't mind trying it. But for now, I got their brand and it says hand scooped from the avocados. So I got that to go on my rosemary olive oil bread in the morning. How does that sound? And then maybe like coffee break time, I just might have to break down and have a little bit of this. We'll see. Um, then to go with our, these are uh, these I'll probably use for lunch tomorrow. And I got some honey smoked turkey breast and it is the Oscar Mayer brand. And then some cheese choices. I have either the Lidl brand, I think it's Lidl's brand, Deli Slice. I don't know if it even says it. I don't know if it's Lidl's brand or not. But anyway, I got provolone and mild cheddar cheese. So I thought that would give us a nice selection there. A couple of things that um, were not food related. It's called Bright Spring Day. Is that not a gorgeous green? Oh, it is. Isn't that pretty? And it has daisies. My favorite flower is daisies on the front. I had daisies at my wedding. And it smells like a bright spring day. I wouldn't even know how to describe it. I don't really like floral. I prefer vanilla, pine, pumpkin, clove. Like I like the fall scents and the winter scents. But this was just too nice. So I have no idea. I know all these candles are supposed to be great. So I'm going to try and see what I think. I also picked up a treat for myself. I needed a new wood cutting board and... I don't know if we're going to try it. It has a tray. If you can see it on here, the tray would actually pull out. So you pull it out this way and you can put your, you know, as you slice your cucumbers or whatever, push it into the tray. So it has a place to go. And it's for me, for my size kitchen, I have a very small kitchen and there's only the three of us usually. So this will be a good size. I'm going to give that a try. And then I picked up, I've not seen them ever have distilled water before. So I picked up a distilled water. My husband needs that for his breathing machine. So that was great. What else did we get here? So for the puppy, grain-free, I've already opened it up and gave him a few taste of this. Grain-free dog food by Lidl, and it is salmon and sweet potato recipe. So if you've seen some of my videos, I do make homemade dog food. We usually give that to him at night, but in the morning we like to also supplement with the regular dog food because there's uh, minerals and there's roughage and all kinds of other stuff that they need so I got the grain free we're gonna try this one I don't know if we try I feel like we got this once before maybe it was a different flavor but anyway we got that I got some of their dog biscuits medium size <clears throat> by Lidl's nothing big but we got those we needed extra there what else did I get okay so we got garbage bags tall kitchen garbage bags citrus scented all right and then i picked up black garbage bags we are doing a lot of one of the reasons i haven't been around much is we are reorganizing our home i wouldn't say thinning out but just cleaning out you know going through that stuff we've been through two kids raising both kids one is married one is older now and there are things that as a parent if you're a parent you know you kept things in the house because or you were so busy taking care of the kids you didn't have time to clean things out. We're at a point now where we're cleaning things out, cleaning the clothes, the closets, the shoes, the pocketbooks. This is my stuff. The scars, my husband's ties, all that stuff. And our lifestyle has changed. The way we dress, the clothes that we wear, we don't need certain things anymore. We're packing them up. So we have this mound. I mean, I should take a picture of it. Maybe I'll, you know what? I'll take a picture of it and show you at the end of the video. When I say a mound, there is a mound of clothes on my bedroom floor. So I need garbage bags. We have a clothing drive at our church. We're going to bag these up, bring it over, and uh, that'll help the church out. So I am cheating. Yes, I'm cheating. Banana nut muffin mix. My pastor's wife makes this all the time. It's delicious, this particular brand. And it says it's made with real bananas and walnuts. So sometimes what I have done in the past is added, like on the back they have, just add blueberries to it. So I do have some blueberries or you can mash up one banana and add that to it. So I picked up two of them. They were a great price. 
Listen, working woman here, sometimes as much as I love doing things from scratch, sometimes I just need to make sure that we all have something for breakfast, like tomorrow I'll be making this so we have something on hand that we can have. Oh, wait a minute, I don't even need to make this. I forgot, I've got the avocado toast. Well, you know what, I'll probably make this so the guys have something at home. Um, and then they had the cranberry orange, which is really a great one for the fall, but I like it year round. And they have an almond plum cake on the back. And I have some plums that in my freezer that I have been wanting to use. And I might try this using one of these. You use this and you add the plums. Sounds like a great video, huh? Should we try that out together? Almond plum cake. So you use a box of this, two eggs, water, oil, almond extract, which is my favorite. One can of cranberries, which is enclosed. And it says two to three fresh plums sliced thin. Well, I don't have fresh, I have dried. I think we're gonna try it out. So we'll give that a shot. Okay, box of life cereal, my husband's favorite. I couldn't remember if I had this in the stockpile. I might have one or two boxes, but either way, I don't plan on going out. Probably this is the end of March. Our budget always starts the last week of the month. I know we do things differently, but so I probably won't be shopping for another three, three and a half weeks. So I thought I'd better pick it up and have it on hand. I picked up, this is their brand, Ultra Original Scent. It's like the Dawn. I It was a dollar 70 cheaper than Dawn. I think that's what it was. And we are not out, but I always like to have extra. So I thought I'm gonna try their brand and see. If not, we just won't get it again. All right, picked up some acetaminophen. We are almost out. Um, I like to have this now in the house because my husband can no longer take Advil because of being on blood thinner. So I need to have this on hand for different reasons. Makeup, I love Lidl's makeup. So um, they have eyeshadow and pull that up a little closer for you. So this I like as like a, a base coat almost. And then you could put your regular eyeshadow over it. It's like very creamy. It's a powder, but it's creamy. I really like it. And their foundation. I have not had, this one's called Vanilla. And my skin is, you know, very fair, as you can tell. But I really, really like their foundation. And they haven't had the, the lighter one. They've had the darker one. So I grabbed that while I could. I need some razors. No big uh, exciting moment here. It says it is... Um, it's strip, the strips on there have aloe vera in it. So I'm gonna try that out. Picked up some sour cream. This is their brand. I'm not a brand loyalist when it comes to sour cream. I'm okay with that. A recipe that I looked up the other night for the peanut butter muffins, my son was asking for that. And they almost all of them called for sour cream in it. And I couldn't remember if I had sour cream. And if I do, we'll make beef stroganoff with the extra sour cream. I picked up some butter fat, uh, butter fat, buttermilk. I'm, I'm reading on here, reduced fat buttermilk. And I had made for the first time ever, I made buttermilk biscuits the other day and my husband loved them. And then I'm like, what do I do with this? Because buttermilk, this one says sell by April 15th. So I've got some time, but man, this stuff goes. I find that it just doesn't last and I never end up using it. Well, I read up and yes, you can freeze it. I didn't know if you could because it would separate, but you can freeze it. And they recommend you freeze it in a size, like if you want one cup and so on. So I think I'm gonna be making some buttermilk biscuits over the weekend for us and some biscuits and gravy kind of thing, you know, sausage gravy. And then I can freeze the rest. So pick that up. I picked up the Lidl's brand of buttermilk biscuits. My daughter had made us, when we came home from the hospital, um, a nice chicken dinner, and she made these biscuits, and she just melted the butter on top. And I said to her, where did you get, what biscuits did you get? They were the best. And she said it was just Lidl's brand. So I got two of these. And then they had Pillsbury Grands cinnamon rolls, but the icing on the top is peaches and cream. Woo, doesn't that sound good? You guys wanna come over this weekend, maybe Good Friday, we'll do some peaches and cream biscuits and gravy, have some coffee and tea, we can chat. I wish I could have you over. Wouldn't that be fun to get together? Okay, then I picked up a bag of burgers. So there are 12 in here 
and 100% uh, pure beef burger, 72% lean. My husband and my son, if I'm at work, can throw one of these in the air fryer, fry this up. They've got hamburger rolls, get some cheese on that, or a snack, they're good to go. I like to have some burgers in the freezer that they can pull from. I'm in the mood for bacon, probably make some bacon over the weekend with those cinnamon rolls. So I got center cut bacon. I don't know about you, but bacon around it by us is not cheap. No matter where I go, bacon is not cheap, but we'll get it. So I like it. So here's, drum roll. That wasn't very good, was it? I can't play the drums. But, okay, so I don't normally buy pot roast or anything like that, but Black Angus, and um, it is organic. Of course, that's even more expensive. I would not have normally gotten this, but like I said, I thought, let me just check out what Janelle said about the discounts. I haven't looked for discounts. So it said, take 30% off at the register, and they had whole chickens, and they had this, and they had pork chops um, in this one section. And then on the other side of the counter, they had more chicken and pork chops with the 30% off. But I saw this one bin there and it said, can you read that? A dollar fifty. One dollar and fifty cents for this beef chuck roast black Angus and it's organic. So forget the 30% off. I paid a dollar fifty for this. That was a deal. And in that bin they had whole chickens, a dollar fifty. They had uh, pork chop packages, a dollar fifty, and I was like, <gasps> like I wanted to get them all, and I'm like, I can hear my husband say, we have no room in the freezer, and he's absolutely right. right. But for a dollar fifty beef, I picked it up. I thought that was a great deal. Okay, guys, let me get my receipt. If you've never been to a Lidl's, that is the name of it right there. You can see the shopping bag. And so let me just run down the prices real quick in case you're curious, you know, do some price comparisons. So the meat was $1.50. The buttermilk was $1.59. The liquid soap was $2.05. That is not the best price. I really do better if I go to Dollar General. But I was there. I picked it up. The muffin mix, which were these. They were $2.15, uh, $3.49 for the grams. Yeah, that's a little pricey, but it is what it is. The sour cream was $1.35. The cheddar cheese, $1.75. The provolone, $1.84. Bacon, $3.99. I know, guys, it's expensive around us. Um, the candle was $4.99. I think that's a decent price. My razors were $2.85. My foundation was $1.99. My eyeshadow was $1.99. The turkey was $3.88. The guacamole, $1.25. I thought that was a great deal. Life cereal, $2.99. That's about average. The burgers were $7.75. That is actually cheaper than Walmart. The distilled water was only $0.80. Cents. That's really cheap because if I go to Walgreens, we would pay like $2.89, so that was a good deal. The dog biscuits were $1.55. My cutting board, the bamboo cutting board was $9.99, so that was a treat for me, but I still thought that was a good buy. The buttermilk biscuits were $0.85, cents. the Lidl's brand, or no, excuse me, $0.95. Cents. The trash bags were $3.49 for the white ones and $5.14 for the black ones. The dog food was $5.89, and that was grain-free, so that's usually more money. The acetaminophen, this is 100 caplets. That was $1.98. My hamburger rolls were $0.85 cents each. The pretzel rolls were $2.79. My rosemary bread was $2.99. And the brioche, it was $3.55. Now, I thought that was $1.99 but it was probably like another sign. They had a bunch of bakery stuff, so I might have misread it. I don't think I would have paid $3.55. I bought it thinking it was $1.99, but it was, it was self-checkout was the last thing, and it was like, it's not worth getting somebody over there. So there we go, guys. That's my prices. There's my haul. Thank you for coming over. If you're part of my community, I'm so glad you're here, and if you're not, I would love for you to consider joining our community and subscribing to my channel. 
We'll catch you on the next video.